What's going on everyone? Dudat with Dudat Gaming, back with another predecessor video. Today we're doing a different kind of video. Today we're going to be looking at the different graphical settings of predecessor, how they affect your game, um, how lowering your graphics affects your FPS, and how the game looks in general. Now if you're a player like me, you really favor an attractive game. If a game looks bad, um, it's really hard for me to get into. So typically I like to play on the highest settings that I can play and still maintain a high FPS. So that's my goal is to give you guys a benchmark. Now everyone's computer is different. You may have a totally different experience than me. So I'll tell you guys what I'm running. I have an 8700K, which is a six core CPU running at 4.9 megahertz. Well, 4895 megahertz. I have a 3070 Ti for my graphics card. The game is installed on an SSD and I have 32 gigabytes of RAM. And that should be roughly the information you guys need. Now, again, your computers are, are going to be different than mine, more than likely. And you may have different results, but this should be a general benchmark to help you guys understand. So let's take a look at where my settings are sitting right now. Right now, I am running a full screen 1440p monitor. Everything is set to epic. <clears throat> V-Sync, motion blur are off. Anti-aliasing is on. And right now I have my frame limit up to 240. It's typically at uh, 144 because that's my refresh for my monitor. But for the purposes of this video, just in case we're able to hit higher than 144, we're going to have it loaded in at that. Now, keep in mind that every time I change a setting in the game, there's a very good chance we're going to see graphical anomalies. Things are going to look a little funny and not going to work very good, um, potentially. So if you notice those anomalies, uh, just remember that all you have to do is restart your game and those should disappear. So I have Afterburner up in the left corner. And if you see um, on the pillar there, you can see the little red um, FPS marker. That is the marker for um, our benchmark. So we're going to set a benchmark on all Epic settings. Okay. So right now we are sitting at 130-ish without moving. It's about 130 FPS. Now I have uh, set the game for um, being able to quickly get in and out of stuff with my teleport as you can see so if you see that uh that's not a normal thing for the game that's just uh a setting that i've set for practice mode so if we keep the benchmark going facing the sun and in a bit of a fight we actually did pretty good interestingly enough we got a bit of a gain in uh fps there which is very interesting if we reset it back here yeah it's about the 130 133 mark um, but even in battle, it really wasn't bad. That's one of the wonderful things about Pred is that I find it to be extremely well uh, optimized. Even though it's running on Unreal Engine 5, it's a well optimized game. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the video settings. We're going to drop everything to the next step down. There's our little warning. Just about the graphical settings changing. And let's start our benchmark. <clears throat> okay, so now we have, without moving, jumped up, I don't know, 7 FPS, maybe 8 if we're really lucky. If we engage in battle. Yeah, yeah, it's holding pretty steady. From about the 130 mark up to 137. Okay, so there's a graphical anomaly. We're seeing one of our abilities staying on the map we've made it go go away by re-engaging that ability so again yeah we're seeing pretty uh, a nice little fps boost and personally i don't actually notice any graphical difference now you can replay the video and and see for yourself but truly i see very little we're still getting the the pretty uh light rays off the sun there's a lot of detail in the map and on the hero okay now let's dump everything down one more setting to medium. <clears throat> okay. 
So there is definitely a graphical difference. Everything doesn't look quite as crisp. The light rays have gone away. However, we still have the global illumination as you can see on this uh, wall here. Let's take a look at our FPS. Our new benchmark for FPS is interesting. Very interesting. Okay, so I'm seeing a decrease, which is very odd. I wonder if that is a read-write error upon um, the game because we are changing settings. It definitely could be. Um, but it's not actually an improvement over the last settings, which I find very interesting. Yeah, very interesting. Okay, so the graphics don't look as good, and I don't think that it's performing any better than the last. If not, it's, well, now we're sitting at 144. Maybe things just took a second to uh, catch on. 140, yeah, so it's, it's a tiny boost, if at all. <clears throat> okay, so now we're going to bump everything to the lowest settings possible. Okay, there is definitely a graphical difference. Uh, all the foliage in any distance is basically nullified. You'll probably see it here. Yeah, the grass appears, but not till you're right close. The global illumination is relatively still there technically, but the sun itself and the light rays are all completely gone. Let's take a look at our FPS. Okay, well, that's a real difference from no better than 140, 144, all the way up to 186, 187. Wow, that is a serious difference. Now there is a graphical difference. It looks different, but by no means does it look bad. It just looks kind of basic. Yeah, we are still holding really solid FPS here in battle. 160s, 170s, yeah, this is crazy. All right. Well, that's actually a lot of really good information for us there. Now, what happens if we bump everything right back up? How well does it take? <clears throat> yeah, okay. So it, it does jump back down to closer to where we were when we started. So all of this is, again, general information based upon my specific setup. Um... And it's going to be a different experience for you guys. But I want to be encouraging because uh, some people might look at the hardware specs of the game and think that their computer can't run it. Those are general guidelines for a optimal experience. And I assume that it's based upon a 60 FPS margin. Um, again, I'm running it at uh, 1440p. So if you are running a good enough computer and you are running around 1080p, you can technically... Um, bump down everything to 1080p but as you'll see things get a little bit unusual um and actually in my case there's no real benefit uh yeah in my case there's not really a benefit it might change again as the uh graphics catch up but there's no real benefit it might just end up being a little more of a consistent uh fps but I wouldn't really suggest bumping down unless if you absolutely need to. Realistically, this game runs super well and it's a super well optimized game, which is very exciting and very encouraging because it's a competitive game. And the last thing you want is to not be competitive because you can't play it and because it's inconsistent. So this is a, this is a good thing. Now, we uh, can't really, as you can see in the white lettering there, there's a one fps we can't really rely on that because we are bouncing around our graphical settings a whole bunch so don't really focus on that either now i hope this video has been informative i hope that you're encouraged that you can try some different stuff and uh potentially get good enough graphics and uh appearance wise and fps so that you can play the game competitively and enjoy it now i want to close off the video by giving my little suggestions here 
Personally, when it comes to these kinds of games, as I said earlier, I enjoy a good quality graphic. The better the game looks, the more encouraging and exciting it is for me to play. However, in a competitive sense, I personally think, and, and just by looking at the way the graphics looked, jumping or, or bumping your graphics down to a lower setting will make it easier, typically, to see enemies. Because you're going to take away a lot of the foliage and uh, artifacting and things that kind of happen. You can see like little bugs and stuff. You're not going to see that. Those things are kind of distracting for a lot of people. Um, so if you do drop, drop your graphics down, it'll be a lot less distracting and a lot easier for you to see when things are going on, especially when the enemy team is coming at you and you're not expecting it. So that would be my suggestion is to play around with the settings a little bit and get a feel for your own personal setup. This is the practice mode, which is awesome because we can jump in and try these things out uh, along with trying out builds and different heroes. And uh, it's, it's really informative and really helpful. All right, that's going to do it for the video today. Again, I hope it's been helpful and encouraging, and uh, I hope that you guys have uh, enjoyed it. Feel free to leave a like and a subscribe and uh, any comments with any suggestions you have or any suggestions on videos you'd like me to do. I'm uh, very excited to try some deep dives into some different builds and into some different heroes. So stay tuned for those videos. Anyways, that's going to do it. I hope to see you guys in the battlefield. Peace.